Hello everybody and welcome to our basic PIPESA session. First, we want to answer the question, what is PIPESA? PIPESA stands for Python for Power System Analysis. And it's a free open source Python framework for simulating and optimizing energy power systems over multiple periods. Basically, PIPESA allows you to model and optimize future energy systems based on an input energy system and user input. But how does an energy system model in PIPESA look like? An uh, energy system in PIPESA has carriers. These are energy carriers like, for example, solar or wind or gas. Also, it has loads representing consumer of energy. For connecting two components with the same voltage, we have transmission lines. For connecting two components with different voltages, we have transformers. Last but not least, we have storage units. They can shift energy from one time to another, subject to efficiency losses. Now, of course, it would be very time consuming to create every single component, thousands of carriers for an energy system for a country like Germany. This is where the energy models pipes are Euro and pipes are Earth come into play, which are generating corresponding energy systems of regions based on input data and solve them using the pipes of framework. The structure of pipes are Euro and pipes are Earth are pretty much the same. With pipes are Euro, you can model all European regions, and with pipes are Earth, you can model the whole world. Let's take a look at the structure of the model. So in the first step, we collect data. On the one hand, um, geo-information system data inputs, which we are downloading from the internet, um, everything open data and open source data. And uh, first of all, we download stuff like infrastructure data. This could be road networks, uh, power transmission lines, uh, power plant data, and stuff like that. Um, secondly, we download environmental data. That's stuff like um, solar irradiation data or wind speed data or something like that. We also have socioeconomic data like uh, GDP raster or stuff like that. And also some other data like, uh, yeah, for example, night traffic lights or something like that. Um, in addi addition to all the GIS uh, input data, we also have non-GEO information system input data from the user like um, configurations, um, the user can say, hey, um, what are the emission targets of this energy system? Or uh, can also deliver custom data um, to the model and all this collected data um, does on the one hand create new data. For example, the wind speed and the solar irradiation um, creates um, time series potential data to like, for example, solar potentials or so something like that. And with the new created data and also the collected data, they get prepared, cleaned, and merged into one single data set. And this data set gets into the pipes of framework 
um, get solved um, the energy system and afterwards we have once again our future energy system uh, in the output path which is a .nc file. I hope um, uh, Pipes of Earth and Pipes of Euro is now more clear to you and I hope to see you guys in our next sessions.